Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing this makeup tutorial for you guys and it's using the Melt Cosmetics Dark Matter stack and I am in love with this. I showed you guys uh, this briefly in my last video, my Get Ready With Me video. Um, so this is the look that I created today using this stack and a ColourPop Cosmetics and Motive eyeshadow. So uh, yeah, if you want to learn how to complete this look on yourself, then please keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to use my MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot as usual and I'm going to slap this onto my eyelids with this brush from Sigma and then I'm going to blend it out with my fingers to ensure that I have a nice smooth finish for my eyeshadows. Now I'm going to go into the first eyeshadow from the Mel Cosmetics, Dark Matter Stack, and this is Blur, and it's the perfect name because you can also use it to blend out any mistakes, but I'm just going to use this to set my primer. Now I'm going to use this gorgeous color called Unseen from the Dark Matter Stack, and I'm just using such a light hand. It actually feels like feathers on my eyelid, and a MAC 217 dupe from Morphe Brushes. And I'm just doing circular motions into my crease, mixing it up with windshield wiper motions, um, just to get a nice blend as I apply this eyeshadow. Now I'm going to use my favorite eyeshadow from this stack and this is called Enigma. So forgive me guys if you see me doing a lot of tutorials with this eyeshadow because I'm obsessed, like for real obsessed. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I'm just using this brush from Sigma because it's nice and small and I can use the tip of it to get nicely into my crease. I'm just doing back and forth motions because I want this to be more defined, almost like if I was doing a cut crease but this is a little bit softer and I'm just really defining that crease. Then I'm going to go back into that. Morphe brush and I'm going to blend it out. I didn't apply any more of Unseen eyeshadow. I'm just using whatever's left on the brush to blend out. Now I'm going to go into this beautiful, beautiful, soft, cool gray eyeshadow and this is called Girl Crush and it's from ColourPop Cosmetics and I'm using this brush that I got in my Naked Palette uh, from Urban Decay because I really love this brush. It's synthetic so just use a synthetic brush and I'm just pressing this eyeshadow onto my lid. You can use your fingers. Fingers work really well with the ColourPop Cosmetics eyeshadows as well. Now I'm taking the other end of this which is more flat so you can use a concealer brush and I'm just getting right into that crease to clean up the lines. So I found a use for every single one of these eyeshadows, but today we're going to use Studio from um, My Party Weapon Palette from Modus Cosmetics and I'm going to apply this just to the center of my lid. Because it's silver, it just brings light to this gray eyeshadow and it makes my eyes appear a little bit rounder, more big, and I really, really like this eyeshadow. And it's perfect right there in the center of my eyelid. Now I'm going to go back into Enigma and I'm going to work the bottom lash line and I'm taking that brush once again that I used the first time and I'm just going to apply this to my lash line smoking it out so the more you go back and forth the smokier it will appear. So I'm now going to use Dark Matter from the Dark Matter stack and an angled brush. I chose this brush because I want to be nice and precise. I want to get this really close to my lashes without bringing it too far down. I'm also going to extend this over the brown that I previously applied. And this is going to elongate my eyes and make it look a little more sultry. I'm now going to line the top lash line with my Milani liquid eyeliner. And as you guys know, I've really been enjoying this liquid eyeliner uh, just because of the shape and because it's really dark and I like it. So I'm just going over my eyes and I'm just doing a very thin line in the front end of my eye. And then it just goes a little bit wider on the outer end and that's going to really emphasize my almond shaped eyes. So this look is definitely about the eyes and I really want to play up this liner and I'm taking the same angled brush I used for the black and I just applied a little bit of Enigma which is the brown 
and I'm just going to emphasize my inner tear duct area. Now you want to apply two coats of your favorite mascara. This one is by MAC Cosmetics and it's the Giga Black Lash Mascara and I really like how tiny this is. It grabs onto all of my baby lashes and it really makes them look like they're doing something. <laughs> so I really really do like this mascara and uh, who knows next month it'll be a different one but yeah for right now this is my go-to mascara. I'm going to apply these Lily Lashes and they're Paris with this glue from Esquito and this glue is absolutely amazing. It's brand new to them and I have really been using this one over my uh, dual lash glue because it comes off really easily when I want it to and it doesn't hurt at all. I'm going to use my go-to under eye concealer and this is by L'Oreal Paris and it is in the shade medium as their Visible Lip CC Eye Cream or concealer and this is your eyes completed. So we're almost at the finish line and I'm going to use my NYX Cosmetics Matte Bronzer in 05 as their darkest shade. I'm also going to contour with this and then I'm going to highlight and this is by Wet n Wild is their Fergie uh, collaboration. This one is in Rose Champagne and I really love it. I'm applying with the Beauty Blender because it really gives me a little bit more than I would get with a brush and I'm also putting that to the Cupid's bow of my lips because it's going to give me a nice pout. Then I'm going to use my Nabi Cosmetics Plum Lip Liner as the base for my lipstick. So you want to take your time when wearing a bold lip or red lip, anything that's really going to show. And you want to get a nice precise clean line. This is going to make your lips look beautiful. You can really see mistakes when you use a dark color. Using this all over my lips helps me with fading throughout the day. And now I'm just using my liquid lipstick by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in the shade BAMP. And I absolutely love it. It's definitely a fall must have. So I really like to put on my lip color before choosing my blush color because I see how much color I need. And because the dark lips kind of made me look a little bit more pale, I went a little heavier with the blush. And uh, yeah, that completes your look and I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I really love this look for fall. It's just the right amount of color and it looks beautiful on every single complexion. So thank you guys so much for watching my tutorial and supporting my channel. Please hit subscribe if you haven't and share this video with all your your friends. I love you guys. Until my next video, stay beautiful.